Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. All right, welcome back to Inside West Virginia Politics. We uh, finished our last segment talking briefly about medical marijuana. One of the things that I just want to button up on this, it's not really a medical issue at this point. The legislature approved it, the governor signed it. Medical marijuana is supposed to be available. We have a banking issue in the state where the banks are reluctant to deal with the money because um, federally marijuana is still a Schedule One drug. Mm -hmm. That's a tough question. I don't think anybody has a real answer. I know they've looked at um, options with credit unions and other things. Do you go to a private banking system? Uh, I've had constituents actually email me with, with uh, those kind of recommendations too, but I think the jury's still out how you handle that. Yeah, and just to let folks know, it's kind of in the hands of Treasurer John Perdue and in the governor's office, and maybe there's going to be some new legislation to fix this. We'll keep an eye on it as the legislative session opens in January. I want to talk about the session and the number one priority, because earlier on this program we had Senator Corey Palumbo, the minority whip, uh, and he said, and, and you said in independent interviews with me earlier this week, both of you have the number one priority of free community and technical college education. And I thought, geez, if you got both sides agree on that already, maybe this is something you guys can do right out of the box. Yeah, I think that's a great thing. I mean, we were trying to do that last year, and we were really excited. It actually passed the Senate. Uh, we didn't make uh, much um, uh, progress through the House, but um, you know, we have so many people that are so skilled, and maybe they just don't have the uh, funds or they didn't um, start out life, or maybe they needed to change a career. But uh, again, you know, that gets expensive as you get older and you have bills to pay. But uh, that bill would afford anybody in West Virginia the opportunity to go back and get career or technical training, could be a nurse, electrician, uh, et cetera. Uh, and get a good craft and good trade and, and uh, better their lives, better their families. There's a lot of good careers out there. I, I think a lot of people don't realize this. They're training a lot of RNs at the community college mm -hmm. level with associate's degrees, a lot of people in the computer science field. So, uh, and especially people going back in their 40s, uh, maybe their 30s or even 50s to, yeah. to do a new career set, that's the place to be. So do you think it'll get through this year? I hope. I know everything. Uh, we're going to push it hard on both sides, and uh, and we're going to have obviously new leadership in the house. Uh, we our funds are a little bit better positioned than they have been in past years. Where we don't have these huge deficits, so um, I think now's the time to invest in West Virginia. Let's talk about what the governor's uh, promising, and he did this before the election, and then last uh, after the election, he reiterated his promise. The governor says his number one priority and promise as the legislative session begins is a 5% raise for teachers and that 5% pay raise for all state employees as everybody got last year. Do you think this is doable right out of the box? I think we sure want to try. Uh, the governor has promised to do that and revenue estimates were climbing at a, a fast pace. They've slowed a little bit. Um, I haven't seen the November numbers yet. I know October is only about I think 3.5 million above estimate. Um, but we got to get our state employees up to, to more competitive wages across the state. That's one of the things that may help prevent people from, from moving out of our state. We got to keep our people here. Um, there has to be an equitable distribution. One of the concerns I've had more recently is our, um, our retirees, uh, especially teachers and different folks that says, hey, you know, you guys did great things, that's wonderful, but at the same time, we're on fixed incomes and we got no benefit out of that. Uh, we need some help too. So whether or not you may need to redistribute that a little bit to the retired state workers, I don't know yet. That's something we're gonna have to look at yeah. uh, hard. Uh, more than anyone, are they gonna need the fix on PEIA? Because if their premiums and co-pays and deductibles and all those things keep going up, they're actually losing ground, aren't they? Like yeah. many of the teachers and others were. Absolutely, and they did last year. And so um, I made a vow to a patient just last night that um, we're gonna look at that hard and try to make sure that our seniors are taken care of. Yeah, we're down to about 30 seconds. Anything else off the top of your head strikes you as a priority? Well, let me ask the question this way. You said you were going to talk to all, all of the Republicans in your caucus and get them to give you priority lists and maybe start legislating from there. Talk yeah, I think not, not only ours, but I think all, you know, we're, we're all the West Virginia Senate. So I'm going to reach out to the Democrats, Republicans. Uh, if they're going to take the, the uh, uh, effort and the, the um, uh, willingness to serve, their priorities for their constituents and their part of states need to be heard. And so get their top two, three list, and let's try to help each other and push these agendas along to help West Virginia. Well, it's interesting because a lot of people think the agenda comes from the leadership on down. You're soliciting members to say if you get a list and these become the top five priorities, this is what we're going to do. Absolutely. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. If it's important to your part of the state, it's important to us, and so we want to look at it. All right. Get your ideas to Senator Tom Tacuba. We want to thank you for joining us. We'll have you on often throughout the year. It's Great to see you. And again, Senator Tom Takuba, Republican of Kanawha County, the new Senate Majority Leader on the Republican side here at the Capitol. It's going to be a busy year. We look forward to working with you. Look forward. Thanks for having me, Mark. Thank you, Senator. And thank you for watching this week on Inside West Virginia Politics. We'll see you back here next Sunday.